our second game here for indie tryouts for the month of whatever current month it is <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> june april i don't know it's like a rather unique looking uh roguelike experience it's got some uh cute little comic book uh intro here a bit of oh uh, oh uh, uh. oh yeah there we go <laughs> bam <Ugly mother. laughs> there goes there goes my youtube video Swearing in the first minute. Yep. That'll penalize your video. <laughs> oh no, I just said penal. Oh no, I just said penis. Oh no! My YouTube monetization! Ah! <laughs> now I like this. It has an option for how how serious or goofy or sweary you want the uh, audio to be. I'll go serious clean, but feel free if you enjoy some goofiness and swearing to uh, play on the default settings but I like that it's an option I do appreciate that bam it's got some uh, CRT filters and screen curving and stuff I notice uh, I wonder if you can disable that if it makes people uncomfortable aha uh -huh, you can good to know all right so you can it looks like you can alter the uh ah uh, there you go you can completely disable the CRT filter or make it uh, a little weaker I wonder if I should turn it off for viewer purposes might be a good idea you can change, oh, you can do like uh, curved outwards <laughs> CRT bending or not at all. Oh, there's a strength option. There you go. Maybe I'll just go the slight one because I don't think that tends to affect people too much. Okay, that's good. All right, cool. So you can disable the CRT filter and the screen warping or adjust its strength. That's very good. As this is your first game play time playing through Jupiter Hell, we'll guide you through a short tutorial that's only take a couple of minutes and introduce you to the turn-based, grid-based nature of the game, controls, and a primer of basic strategy. Let's go. Welcome to Jupiter Hell. This is a turn-based, grid-based, permadeath dungeon crawling game, a classic roguelike. The focus in this game, however, is on ranged combat. We'll walk you through an introductory level, and then you can jump right in. Be aware that this is the key a keyboard or gamepad only mouse. So our oh, game, so put away the mouse. You can only move in the four cardinal directions. If you press directions fast enough, it may seem the character is moving diagonally, but in reality it's just two moves blended to speed up gameplay. Like like so. Good tunes. Uh, mark target, marine, level one. Health, fury. <laughs> I like the ASCII art display for the health and fury and whatnot. 25% dodge. Enemy spotted. His stance appear in the top right. Take special note of the chance you have to hit him. To hit 100, damage 16. However, Jupiter Hell is a game of tactical positioning. Move right so you can lean from around the corner. Follow the highlighted squares using narrow keys or D-pad. Now you're behind cover, note that there's a- we took some damage there. Note that there's a green indicator to the right of your character. Oh yeah, a little cover. Okay. Signifying that fact, green is your cover, red at present is enemy cover. Both appear only if an enemy is targeted. So because we're closer to that edge, we have cover but not them. You can shoot him. Press F to shoot the enemy currently targeted. Bam! Oh, answer to continue first. Fire at your current weapon at the currently selected target. F, fire again. Dedge. Use two bullets. It's better to reload. Press R. It's good to reload after every engagement. I can see my pistol down there. Six out of eight. Nine mil pistol. He dropped some stuff. Pistol and some ammo. Move to pick it up. Pick up with G. G forget. Now let's see that pistol. Before you can pick it up, you can get a free peek. Hold shift to compare the item on the ground with the one current one held. Seems like it's the same, like all yellow weapons of the same class. Let's move on. Same 9mm pistol. Do they have uh, ammo in them? They do, so I guess you could like swap to it for more ammo, I suppose. Looks like we have plenty of ammo, though. A medical supply box. You can bump into it as well. G to get. Item on floor, small med kit. Items such as med kits are not used instantly, but stored in the inventory. Use it now. Enter inventory I. Inventory. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Small med kit times two. Standard civilian issue medical kit. Probably won't save you, but may make you suffer a bit longer. <laughs> 40 hit points and removes negative status effects. That's better. That's better. Let's go to the next room. Mm. I quite like the aesthetics. Can we zoom at all? Um, oh, I can see. Like, I don't want to get a little closer look because the game looks quite nice. This guy has a shotgun. Fire at him F so we can relieve him of it. 
Remember the direction you and they are facing doesn't matter, right? Wow, that shot really hurt. If you look at your status bar at the bottom, you can see you have a significant pain modifier. It directly affects your chance to hit. Pain 42. Mm, wow. Luckily, you're a marine and you have an active skill that can help. So there's different classes then. Adrenaline can be used as long as you have enough fury and it heals you a bit and converts a portion of any pain value to health. More pain, more gain. <laughs> marine regains his class resource by killing his enemies. How do I use it? Press five, indicated. All oh, right there, I see. Much better. Now you can finish him off. Adrenaline, five. So those are like five turns of adrenaline then. Note that the pain removing effect of adrenaline stays for a couple of turns. Go pick up his shotgun. Oh, there's another enemy there. There are enemies here, but the shotgun will help. Notice that by holding shift while standing on a weapon, you can compare. 12 gauge shotgun. 34 slashing damage. Oh, there's different damage types too, it looks like. Do, 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 do. Range is 2 and 6. I'm guessing that's optimal range and far range. Versus 4 and 6. Looks like got mod slots and stuff as well. Damn it, it's empty. You need to pick up some shells. This guy's... Oh, we dodged. Oh god. Now reload the gun. And fire. Oh, damn! Oh my god, it's pretty effective. <laughs> now that was satisfying. Shotguns deal area damage so you can get multiple kills with a single shot. Don't forget to reload after each shot though. Shotgun is nice, but let's switch to the pistol again. Press 1 to switch back. Uh, luckily, Marines start with an extra med kit. So you still have one? Let's see that med kit then, eh? That's better. That's better. Go straight to the next room. Okay, I'm on rails for the tutorial, it looks like. Move in, take a better look. Now here's an idea. Why not blow up those explosive barrels? To do so, you need manual targeting. Press T. Then move the target to the barrels, arrows, and press T again. Oh, oh, so T fires. Not looking. Boom, barrels do more damage than a pistol shot, so it's worth using environment. Let's continue to the next room. You told me to reload tutorial, but now you're not letting me. <laughs> you don't seem to have a sure shot on this sure, sure, sure shot on this ugly guy. You're behind cover, so you can try and wait and see what he's up to. Press W to wait a turn. You didn't move closer, but, two th but things are good. Notice two buffs you received. Hunker, which further decreases your chance to be hit. Oh yeah, nice. Um, Behind cover, and possibly the reason you missed. And aim, which you received by waiting while having an enemy targeted, which increases your odds to hit significantly. So worth waiting potentially for snipe shots. After shooting, your buffs are gone, since both of them apply only to one turn. You can increase their values further by subsequent waiting, but he's almost dead. Try to finish him off. Bam. Nice. Another one down. It seems like there's a grenade on the floor. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go get it then, eh? Uh-oh. Someone spotted you grabbing your sweet loot. <laughs> no worries, you can use items directly from the ground by holding shift and pressing G. How about we send one his way? Shift. G to use. And then F to throw at him. This should be it. Kablooey! Now, wasn't that a beautiful view? <laughs> Let's go. For the sake of introducing an equipment screen, why don't you leave your shotgun here? Why don't I not, huh? Enter the inventory screen, use the arrows to navigate, and D to drop. D to drop, makes sense. A5. This is, this is as far as like old school roguelikes go, this is <laughs> pretty easy. If I learned how to play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, I can learn how to play any, almost anything like this. I reckon that game was so hard to learn. Drop our 12 gauge shotgun. Oh, that's the uh, ammo, is it? How do I get to the actual one? Oh, these are our actual equipped ones. There we go. Good work. Head upstairs to the ele elevator. Why do you make me drop my shotgun though, huh? I'm pretty sure the tutorial stuff won't matter here. Wee -wee 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 -wee. <laughs> I like how fast it looks when you like move multiple spaces. <laughs> In we go. Congratulations on finishing the tutorial. You can now start a new game and see how you fare in real combat. The game's turn-based, facing doesn't matter. Move in only four directions. You will level up and gain trades. Pick a master trade at the bottom and work towards getting it as soon as possible. Try to keep behind cover. Notice the enemy's cover. Nice. Let's go. Looks pretty cool. 
Regular game, challenge mode, trials, preset seed game. Oh yeah, some potentials for like challenging your friends or whatnot to certain seeds and seeing who does better, that sort of thing. Recommended for players with no turn-based roguelike experience. Medium. Default difficulty recommended for players with turn-based roguelike experience. Probably, that's probably me then. Hard. Ultra violence. Time for spot the old ultra violence. <laughs> Reach Lance Corporal Dunlock and Nightmare. This mode isn't even trying to be fair. Let's go medium then, eh? We got three classes here at the beginning. Possibly you can unlock more. Marines are the backbone of the Jovi Sec. Resilient and hardy. Each time you enter a new level, you automatically gain health back. Fury heals you and shrugs off pain. Sorry, yeah, that's what the adrenaline does. Marines start with a small med kit. Scouts. Stealth and the best intel. Energy is a class resource. On opening new chests, it regenerates. It can overflow until you leave a level. Scouting ahead has revealed the location of all the regular elevators. Branch connections and special levels are still hidden. You only have two weapon slots. Active. For 25 energy, you can activate stealth or go invisible for a few turns or until you attack. You gain 100% crit chance while stealth. Starts with a revolver and 44 ammo. Technician. Techs use power as a class resource. It regenerates by picking up power orbs dropped by mechanical and semi-mechanical enemies. Can overflow until you leave level. Techs use any consumable, including grenades, twice as fast. So it probably means you can like throw the grenade before they get a shot off. For, I imagine certain actions take a certain amount of time. I didn't see that communicated, but it's probably somewhere. The difficulty dependent amount of power, uh, you can activate a smoke screen that will block sight around you. You're immune to smoke induced slow effects. You can dismantle modded items to randomly get back one of its mod, and you start with three multi tools. Hmm, a technician sounds a little bit more complicated. Um, we, maybe I'll try scout. Shadow. I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> You can come back from a you come back from a routine patrol of the Callisto orbit. Your landing craft gets shot down by automated defense systems. Something's wrong. I don't like this one bit. I know this dodge goes up when you're moving, so it's twenty five percent standing here, but it's fifty when you're moving. So I think like if you're being shot at on that turn that you move, you're more likely to dodge. That's cool. I like that. Makes sense in a game that's a bit more shooty oriented like this. There was maybe a door back there, but no. We don't have cover right here. What's the range on our revolver? Um, three, six. So that's pretty far away there. Can I get a read on how many? I can count it, but I wonder if there's... To hit 25%. Okay, so we can see that up in the top left. They probably can't really hit us from there either. They look like they have shield. So we move behind cover here. Nice. To hit 23%, so maybe I'll wait. Wait more. 95, there we go. Fire. Bam! Excellent. Oh, we got another one. Let's lure them back to cover. Good tunes. 71% chance to hit. 144. I guess that... I wonder if that means that you can crit or something? Bam! <laughs> Guy just exploded into giblets. What do we got here? 9mm pistol? It seems like we should grab a 9mm pistol. So that we can uh, have an alternate weapon to swap to. I gotta remember to reload, eh? Two, one. Ah, oh, you load the revolver one by one. <laughs> cool. We only have two weapon slots, I think, as a scout. I don't know what that was. Oh, that was energy from opening the chest. And there's a med kit for us, alright? Yeah, cool. Seems like you could pay this as a pretty fast place roguelike, which I quite like. So I have 140 out of 100 health? How do I have that? I don't know why I, I seem to have bonus health. I thought that... Yeah. Oh, here we go. We've got some... Uh, we've got the jump on this. Is there another guy there, though? Target. Yeah, there's another guy there. We'll blast them and move behind cover. And then blast them. Yeah, cool. One shot, one kill. The first pickup was health that you can't pick up to your inventory? Oh, like an overshield. Okay. Yeah, all right. So pick up some ammo here. 12 gauge shells. Seems like there's no reason to not grab ammo. So there's an elevator. So that takes us to a new level, but we might want to clear this level first, huh? I feel like I hear something on the other side. 
Do 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 the former grunt. Former indeed. The operative word being former. <laughs> 88% hit. I like those odds. 48. Now I don't have cover here directly, so maybe we just pray. Oh yeah, nice. Well, we got a shotgun, so we might get that instead. And there's a knife. Okay, that's instead. Combat knife. How much damage does the combat knife do? Reduces pain effect on accuracy by half. Trusty combat knife. Biggest advantage is it's silent and doesn't use ammo. 20 piercing damage. Seems like it does a lot of damage. Like the revolt is 24, so it's in for decent. Melee guard increased. We're gonna, stick, we're gonna go with the shotgun though. I mean, stealth shotgun blasts, right? That's all we want. Looks like we've got some drones here. Let's move behind cover. 96% looks pretty good. Oh, I should have used the shotgun. Clear. You advanced to level two. Yeah. Ooh. So these are the ulti perks then, are they? Sniper increased range and critical chance bonus based on range. Gun cutter. <laughs> Gun cutter, nice. Dual pistol SMG only. Shoot both pistols while moving. <laughs> Gun runner, reduce stack time after move and reload. Assassinate, use a melee weapon, phase shift towards enemy and attack. Go stealth cheaper and enemy detection. Mm. So you need certain other perks to get those. Order. Plus one weapon slots. I don't know if we'll need the extra weapon slots. It would allow us to take the knife though. It seems like you can't stash things in your inventory. You have to have the weapons in your weapon slots. Skilled, you're great at what you are. Each level of this improves your class traits. Reveal branch elevators, uh, increase stealth time, plus 10 to max energy. Eagle eye, plus one max distance. That seems pretty good. That probably increases our accuracy effectively too, like when we're doing shooting at longer ranges. Dash. Go trust fast. When in danger inside of enemies, consecutive moves in the same direction, starting with the second, are done faster. Ah, so dashing is when you make two moves in the same direction. That's cool. I like the way a lot of this is done. Hell runner. Dodge and move cost per train. So you know, there's a lot of some running gun stuff here. Critical chance bonus, plus one pistol max range. I wonder if the uh, the revolver should surely count as a pistol. It doesn't, it seems like it would. Swap between weapons and use items faster. Critical chance on close range. Decrease hack multi-tools, splash back So it seems like the perks probably shared between classes then. Mailing an enemy with a gun will automatically switch to a melee weapon if present. Critical chance bonus. Order. I'm gonna go with eagle eye range. Mid range. Reload the revolver. There's nothing here. What's this? Red key card. Oh yeah, we need those, right? <laughs> you always need the key cards. Oh, so I could have gone this way. I see. Now is that a toxic barrels cancel? <laughs> you don't need to shoot that one. Maybe when I'm breaching doors, I should pull my shotgun out. So is this, is that everything in here? It looks like it is. Yeah, cool. Let's go. My power went out for an hour and I didn't get to suggest a game. I demand a recount. <laughs> That's not how it works. I'm sorry. You're pooping or your power goes out? Well, yeah. It's better luck next time. Sorry, your power went out, Reggio. Glad it's back, mate. Can we see our uh, increased range represented on our stuff here? Three, six, two, seven. I think so. I can't quite recall. If that was like two, five before, maybe. So damage of the 9mm versus the 44. Oh, I think it was a lot less, but I don't know what the actual number was. Pretty sure the revolver does more damage. It's got the drawback of uh, um, reloading one by one. To hit 40%. Be coming over. So I can just wait a turn and then blast him. Oh, this guy looks like he's a zombie. Oh, fanatic. Kind of like a zombie or something, it seems. Missed. Oh, they explode. Okay. <laughs> Bam. Reload, reload, reload. Wait a turn. Blast him. 
Blast him. Oh, he's taking cover. I should probably do the same. 52, wait a turn. 78, bam. Blast him. Whoop. I was a little hasty. Blast him. <laughs> We're okay. The 9mm pistol does 16 impact compared to 24. But uh, has larger magazine size and reloads faster. So I guess if you're getting swarmed. Also, we might just start running out of ammo on the revolver soon. Wait a turn. Oh, he's like throwing fire at me. Bam! Small med kit, get it. So that's the overshield health we just got there. What do we got here? A fiend? So there are demons. Bam! Blasting. Oh, we got another one here. He's got a grenade launcher, former grenader. We better turn him into a former grenader. Uh, I'm gonna swap weapons. We can use the sh the thing as cover there, it looks like. No. Reload. Nah, swap weapons back. Uh oh, I'm targeting. Whoops. Fire. Wow. I have a lot of uh, shotgun ammo. Might have to use my shotgun a little bit more for a while. Although, there's three 40 mil grenades there. Grenade launcher. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> you can always come back for the shotgun. We know it's near the exit. So we can come back for the shotgun. What is that? Joby Sec. Hello, system. Hello. <laughs> Access security, access recon, access messages. Disable drones, two multi tools. I don't have any multi tools. Hack drones, initiate purge. Access recon, reveal map. Okay, we don't have any multi tools, but it looks like you can do various things in here. Looks like there's some story stuff in here. Somebody missed the elevator up to Valhalla terminal. Be sure to bring a multi tool to fix it. It's not, it looks like some of these might be hints then. Elevated to the vault in Mimir Habitat L2 during our shift to get some equipment. Next thing I saw a couple of military guys throwing me away. Mm. Oh yeah, there was like crit values on the weapons as well, eh? Critical plus 20%. Critical damage. The revolver seems quite good for critting then. What am I doing right now? <laughs> to hit 48%, let me, uh, hit 23%, hmm. Oh shit. Okay, <laughs> maybe I should have just blasted it preemptively. 21%, wait a little bit. Oh my god, ow! Okay, fall back. It's alright, we're still only taking over health damage. Bang. The problem with grenade launcher is I'm like never gonna use the ammo. I can be like, I gotta save it. <laughs> I gotta save it for the most opportune moment. Basic helmet? Oh, we got armor! Ho ho ho! Show me. Basic cover armor, nicknamed by the Marine Green Armor due to the. <laughs> it's a Doom reference, isn't it? <laughs> due to the hue and the fact that only rookies are stupid enough to wear it. Don't expect it to save your skin. Protection 2 out of 2. It looks like it wears down. Oh, durability, there you go. 2-2, two, two, full force versus slash, PS plasma. Reduces dodge though. The helmet doesn't. Better than nothing, protects against critical hits and that's about it. May look like you're a demon slayer, but you're not one yet. <laughs> Doom slayer. Buck boom. Yeah, had mo the helmet has a bunch of mod slots, so you can like, stick things in it, it looks like. Ow. Wait him out. He wasn't gonna hit me there, it seemed. We only have two... We have eight shots left on the revolver. So I might have to swap to a uh, 9 mil soon. Seven shots. Seems like 9 mils are pretty easy to come by, though. 
I haven't used my stealth yet. Oh, a blue weapon. What do we got? Avi 9mm pistol, critical 40. Sounds like it's got a critical boosted chance. Yeah, 40% boosted critical chance. Might be time to swap to that 9mm pistol now then. I reckon. So we've got ourselves our, our first like rare item or uncommon item. Pretty cool. Advanced military sidearm, properties vary. Do I want to go back to my shotgun or keep my grenade launcher? I'll keep my grenade launcher. Let's take it for a spin. 32% chance to hit. I'll be right. Boom! And they had to get near him. <laughs> he went flying. <laughs> he went flying. Oops. Uh, hold on. Buck boom! Looks like we actually have five grenades currently. Take a little bit of damage there. 73% hit chance. Get him. I think that's all of them. Nice. Nice. Oh, we got some multi-tools. Got three multi-tools. Uh, I don't think we need to use any that on anything. So wait, there was two elevators. I wonder if they go to different locations. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. What do we got here? To Mimi Hab Habitat level one. I'm just gonna check. Whether they go to different levels. Callisto L3, they do go to different levels. So we learned from the terminal that like some levels have certain things going on. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go into one. <laughs> oh, this but, will be a mess. Volatile storage. Oh, we got a we got a special level. There must be like certain levels that have a bit of a theme to them, and. Uh, this theme is explosions. There's a crowbar. That is a lot of barrels. Crowbar, zombie bane. <laughs> 30 impact, nice. I'm a bit nervous. I feel like I should blast them before enemies start popping up. Oh my god. It looks like it's gonna make a chain reaction. I'm a bit nervous about running next to the barrels myself. Oh, we got multiple people coming up, but I got this. I got this one. Bam, bam. Uh oh. Oh, it exploded. Of course. I should be faster, I imagine. Yeah, took a bit of damage there as well. Okay, so they run up to you and try and explode. Not ideal. Not ideal. No, oh, we got like a lot of company here. We need a grenade launcher. And you do. Oh, I missed. Try again. You advanced to level three. Oh god, I almost died though. <laughs> I suppose if I miss close to me, I might blow myself up. Oh. So you can level up the same perk to increase... Wait, hold on. Oh, we've unlocked deadly position. It requires eagle eye, I see. Pistol SMG, semi-auto only. Consecutive shots, series, grain, critical bonus. 75 crit per shot, a level 3, 75 crit, aim bonus added to crit chance. Oh, that like 133%. Cumulative can go over 100, doesn't stack with scopes. Oh, wow. Eagle Eye, max distance, optimal distance goes up. Ah, the second level of this seems pretty uh, important potentially. Third level gives enemy cover is only half effective and minimum distance lowered. Ooh. The aim stays unless you lie. Your aim bonus doesn't decay unless you move or switch targets. No matter whether you, whether you aim, once you start shooting, your focus increases, and so does the chance to hit the vital spots. Oh, this sounds really good. Consecutive fire action gives bonus critical chance, max 100. All right, I'm gonna get deadly precision then. Seems pretty bonkers. We should probably heal. Well, yeah, I've got a couple med kits. Uh -oh. Do I have any more things in my grenade launcher? I do not. Back to the pistol. Oh god, I need to reload this too. Former sergeant. No ammo. Reload. Oop. I need cover. I 
Man, we are blasting. I think we're gonna get the uh, shotgun. I do have two grenades left, but I think we'll get the shotgun. Get the shotgun for emergencies. Man, uh, what a what a miss! That's better. Need another med kit there. Blam, blam. Oh, there are some more grenades. Yeah, I think extra weapon slots will be handy if you want to use things like the grenade launcher. Do 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 do. Pretty echoes. Bam. Bam. like randomly kicking the crates. I'm guessing I'm melee attacking them. I gotta make sure I don't do that on a barrel. <laughs> I reckon you probably can. We got a fire fiend? I oh. wonder if this will create a chain reaction. Oh god, it shot me. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna try and shoot this thing. Yep! <laughs> it did indeed create a chain reaction. Oh no, I'm poisoned! <laughs> ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, oh god. Um, shit. I should have known. <laughs> I wonder if the enemies shoot barrels or not. <laughs> Reload. Yeah, don't stand next to the barrels in the chain. Probably a good idea. Where did he go? Did I kill it? I must have killed it. Health's a little low. Definitely concerning. What is this thing? Unlock vault. Unlock securely locked vault on the current level. Hmm. Access security. There are some drones in here. I can disable them. Email complaint. So. Now he brought a goddamn bald dog to come live in our workshop. <laughs> How's all day long reeks of dead fish and bites on my shoes? <laughs> Access recon. Maybe I will disable those drones since my health's pretty low. Alright, I disabled two security drones. Hopefully you will save my life while I look for the vault that we unlocked. Check this side first. Yeah, there's our disabled drones. Good. Let's check this. Kind of looks like... Oh my god. <laughs> I tried to swap to my shotgun, but they shot me because it takes time to do that. I should get my shotgun out before I open doors like that. <laughs> there were so many people in there. I got, I got a mega murdered. Oh man. Shadow, level 3 scout. Killed on Callisto level 3 by former guard. You saw it for a thousand turns. Nice. 20 minutes. <laughs> You know, it shows the world seed if you want to have a run on that same one. He took medium risks. <laughs> medium risks. Nice. Your action, you're at 40 health. Yeah, former commander deals 9 damage. Former guard deals 15, 23. They blasted me. I got barraged. Health down to minus 7, you die. I only just died though. I almost survived. Cool. Hold on. Let's go. Alright. We'll, uh... We'll go marine this time. I didn't end up using stealth, I forgot. I, sh I should have used stealth right then. <laughs> I've never used my stealth once. Uh, remember class power. There we go. I'm naming myself that so I don't forget. So we have a 9mm pistol and we start with a medkit, right? I believe. Is it trying to barge through that? <laughs> He shot out! He shot out cover! What the? Oh my god. Pretty rude. Hmm. Here we go. Wait. 126. Bam. Blast him. It's like he dropped a revolver or something. Oh, he got shotgunned. Not a good start. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there was explosive barrels here I could have used, though. I'm already at 50% health. <laughs> you wounded, use a med kit. Yeah, I suppose I should. Not a great start. Uh, 44 MI, so there's a revolver. There's also a shotgun. I have three weapon slots this time, right? Yeah. So we'll grab our shotgun as well. Revolver. No ammo left. Oh, I need more shotgun ammo. And there is a combat knife there. I've never played a roguelike like this, actually. I never played Doom RL, but uh, I like the idea of like a uh, shooter roguelike. It does a good job of realizing that feeling, too. I wouldn't have uh, thought you could do such a good job of that, of making a roguelike feel kind of like fast paced and, and like a shooter. Reminds me a little bit of, uh, you know, like tactical XCOM -y games a little bit, too. Lots of use of cover and some abilities and things like that. Oh, we've got a bit of over health and we're a looking much better state now. There's a bunch of blood there. Shotgun blast. Revolver go. Bam. Me load the shotgun. Me have the shotgun out and ready to go. But what is the optimal range on the shotgun though? That's pretty sure, yeah. Optimal's two, max is seven. That's got a pretty big max range. This should blow up those barrels though, right? This should be it. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Increases health by 10% per level and adds bleed resistance. Now these seem like different uh, skills. So the different classes have different skills. Rotary auto SMG weapons only master trait. When you start shooting, fire at nearest enemy while moving. Bullet storm. Only plus one shots, low ammo consumption on reload. Army of Darkness. Shotguns and launchers. Convert to pierce damage and get range bonuses. Vampire. Heal a percentage of enemy health on kill. Ooh. Can't die unless below a certain health at the start of your turn. And one shot protection, eh? There'll be surplus. Extra ammo in every box. For every wielded weapon. Suits the class with like having, you know, three weapons equipped. Extra fury generation on kills. Fury becomes melee damage bonus. The capacity for violence is legendary. You generate one fury per kill. Uh, bonus to melee attacks. Hold on. Your percentage of fury becomes a damage bonus to melee attacks. Half of fury percentage becomes melee damage bonus. Mm. One point of armor per level. Damage bonus for consecutive shots. Son of a gun, critical chance bonuses. Increased Fury Capacity, Adrenaline gives damage bonus. I should remember to use my class ability. <laughs> Increases health and adds bleed resistance. And improve your class traits. Do, do, do. Hmm, tough call. Maybe I should try some melee action. The ammo seems pretty good. Only ammo boxes are affected, all boxes are affected. Every fourth chest has an additional non-ammo drop. Ooh, loot. Loot. Pain effectiveness. Plus three armor. Pain doesn't affect accuracy. Halved reload time if weapon is empty. 50% damage reduction while reloading. All reload time is halved. Cumulative with empty. Hmm. I reckon we might go for... Uh, might go for tough as nails for now. It might also be important to know what those unlock as well. Like the later perks. Unlocks are gonna matter. What is this? A pipe wrench. 30 impact damage. I could get a melee weapon instead of the revolver. Let's give it a let's get it a, let's get it out. Does he not know to aim for an ultimate? Uh well, I'm not specifically uh, aiming for a certain ultimate, but I know that that is a concept, yes. We'll see what I get. I'm just exploring at this point, right? We're uh, selling my first runs ever. Don't really have a planned build. Go for an organic approach. I think we're done here. Bam, bada bam, bada bam. Kill list on level two. But yeah, the tutorial actually does say that. Tutorial suggests that you aim for an ultimate. Let me get my shotgun out. 
I have shields and kit. Hmm, suspiciously empty. That's a shotgun ammo. That's good, we might be doing some shotgun blasting here. Dear, dear, dear. I haven't optimized my builds yet on my second run ever. <laughs> I've taken a bit of pain there. Maybe it's time for our adrenaline. What's my hit chance there? Looks like I can't hit him from there. Ow. Yeah, running across the gaps, maybe not a good idea. <laughs> We're blasting. <laughs> good thing I got a couple med kits. Ow, oh, jeez. There's an Avi pistol here. Let's swap that out for ours then. And this one has speed loader. Reload 75% faster if magazine's empty. Sure. Can't complain. Give me a good idea to manually aim the shotgun. Yeah, okay, so maybe I should treat it like more like a cone firing AOE. Let's get ourselves some armor. Hopefully keep us going for a little bit longer. I did take a lot of damage in that last encounter. Oops. Oop. A little hasty. No. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's charging. <laughs> you want to like dodge the charge, I think. Do 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 do. One of these things. Do, 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 do. Let's keep exploring this level first before we go down. Get my shotgun out. I hear something. I hear demons. Oh yeah. So if I go to manually aim. Yeah, but I only have like an angle like this here right now. We could probably wait for them to come for us. Blast them. Perfect. Oh yeah, keep them coming. Oh, both sides, eh? So, 62 on this guy. I wonder if it automatically targets the best option. 96. Not necessarily. Ghost is clear. Nice. That was much better. We blasted our way through there. <laughs> ammo, 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 ammo. Do, 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 do. 48 shotgun shells remaining. I don't see any other looties in here, so let's go. Even just killing all the extra monsters is probably going to be helpful for us to get those levels, eh? And get our fury up so we can use it again. I think we have to be max fury to use adrenaline. 50%. We're not going to hit him there, it seems. Oh, we are. Oh, it just says how much damage we're gonna do. Is shotgun basically guaranteed then? There's nothing here. Oh, I'm done. Access security. Well, we at least know there's two drones. <laughs> All confiscated items and illegal goods must be locked in the safe room on Callisto Mines Level Three. I guess we know where the safe room is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. wonder if I should retreat. Never retreat! <laughs> mm, I don't have very good shots from here. Let's go around. It's uh, much better. Much better. Level three, nice. So we got tough as nails. Was uh, tough as nails required for new these? So they progress. They progress towards survivor. Okay, I'm not 
necessarily what else is on this though they do more than what they say you literally can't die unless you start yeah 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 okay additionally if below 25 percent health you get a critical chance bonus okay so there's a low life bonus as well oh uh, you also get health regeneration though so it's a bit better than what is implied at the top if you uh if your enemies are in sight you regenerate up to 25 percent health oh so you can only regenerate up to 20 percent health gate at 20 hp Hmm. I might try and push for a different one, maybe. Slash weapons and impact launches get converted to piercing damage. I wonder if piercing must be better in some way. Swap to melee weapons instantly. I like the sounds of that. So furious one, reload to one, and what? Oh, level six. Increased fury capacity, adrenaline gives bonus damage, and reloader. We'll get one of them. PS, PS's armor. Makes sense. Sounds good. So let's try targeting this shotgun like this. I think I got him. Oops. No ammo. Reload. Reload. Good thing I just got faster reloading. Ooh. Oh, what is this thing? Exalted Reaver Unstable. Uh-oh. I don't like the sounds of that. Oh, God. I have adrenaline. So if I want to bash it... I'll swap to my pipe wrench. Naturally, it did explode <laughs> as it was unstable. I am now bleeding. Oh no. I might want to use that med kit now. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Oh god. I'm on fire. <laughs> oh god, I'm on fire. Oh, burning six. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die here. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm still in it. Oh god, formal grunt. Let's get behind cover. To hit 30? I don't like that. To hit 100. Blast him. Oh dear. The only important health point is the last one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, these guys explode, don't they? Oh no. Shotgun blast. God, there's a lot of enemies in here. I'm just getting swarmed in here. I gotta see if I can find myself some health. <gasps> Please! Huzzah! JS basic armor. Basic armor. So my old armor is damaged. So as the durability goes down, it looks like the protection level goes down as well. Uh, is the JS better in some other way? Not that I can tell, but it's high durability, so. Oh, just Jovis sec. I guess it's just branded. All right. Better armor and we got some uh, a health pickup. So <laughs> hopefully keep us out of trouble for a bit. Gotta keep that shotgun handy. I see chest. Bam! <laughs> oh, I'm a submachine gun. Ho, ho, ho. I have. Now I have a machine gun. <laughs> no ammo. Reload. I am trying to reload. Oh, I'm aiming, that's why. Pressing the wrong button. This is very fun. For JS 9mm submachine gun. What's on my other pistol? Just fast reloading. Let's have a look. 6x5 impact, 30 damage versus 16. Range is a lot shorter. Swap time, 50%. Reload time is increased. Magazine 20 out of 20. I might, uh, I might swap to that. It uses the same ammo, so. I think that makes sense. Bulk mod pack. Bulk mod pack? 
Tinkering pack for adding durability, magazine size, melee guard, and reload perks. Shotgun? Or the helmet, maybe. Durable, doubles durability, reveals turrets and bots on the minimap. Oh, we can see what we can get. Fire resistance, I did almost burn to death. Increases swap time by 75%. I think we have a perk for that. Or we're gonna get a perk for that. Speed loader, swap harness. The swap harness might be pretty helpful. Or to reload the weapon when swapping to it. Eh, that's just lazy. <laughs> I think I'll go to the swap harness on the uh, submachine gun. So I can have my shotgun out and then swap the submachine gun if I want to. If I need the range. Maybe the other way around would work too. I hear roaring. I hear beasties. Making beastie noises. Oh hi. Oops. So the shotgun gets like a damage modifier, 80% of like damage is dealt because you know they're not getting hit by all the pennies so because they're a bit further away and they've got a wall there I'm only going to do 64% damage. Still gives us an idea of whether we're going to kill them though. If I have a grenade launcher. I'm a little scared. 58% may kill them it looks like. Oh, uh, you get a little warning of where they're targeting with the grenade launcher. That's handy. <laughs> nice. Okay. I like this. This is good. Oh god. Is that another grenade launcher? It was... What is that? Yeah. We need to kill them. Not gonna do much damage to them though. I need to move, but if I move back I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> if I move forwards I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> Do I tank the grenades or do I move forwards? Oh man. Kind of a make or break situation. We know there's another guy around the corner. I think I shoot. Okay, it didn't actually hit me. Let me reload. Oh shit. Hi. Blasting. Waiting. Let's wait around here. Okay, let's get behind cover. Nice. I hear more demon sounds. Let's see if we can draw him back here. Here he is. Great. Health is... Here are your health is low. Yes, indeed. Oh, make hits, please. Healing. There's nothing here. Oh, 69. Uh, we might wait to take a little bit more damage before I pop another med kit. Slightly risky, possibly. I think... Oh, wait. I think the make kits make heal 40, so... Yeah, we wait till we take a bit more damage. Try and make better use of it. Ah! Well, I took more damage. <laughs> wait until you're on fire. Sure. This should be it. I think we got him. What is this? Is that a trap? <laughs> Might be like a demon summoning sigil or something. Alright, let's go to the next level then. Hey, Krista Magoo! Thanks for the 53 months up, mate! Callisto Mines level 2, let's go. Who needs light anyway? That's where the Exalted Reaver came from? Ah, oh, yeah, that thing was nasty. Make sure I'm loaded up. I think I gotta held off on equipping the melee weapon. I don't think it's serving me much good right now, especially because like a shotgun kind of blasts things at close range anyway. Seems like the melee weapon might be better once I get that perk that insta swaps. Here we go.
You advanced to level four. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Where was the one that I wanted? The piercing one? Furious one. Gives increased fury capacity, adrenaline gives damage bonus. We might want to level some of those perks too. The level ups seem like they make them substantially more potent. Oh no. I moved forwards as well. And I'm not reloaded. Oh, that's very... That's very poorly done, Ziggy. <laughs> now I'm burning again, by the way. <laughs> I blasted the exalted reaver. Just keep blasting. I'm burning and bleeding. Ow. <laughs> it hurts. We're okay though. We live, we live. Remember class power, Marine is a good name. It would have helped me a lot when I was new. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might be handy. So I want to swap to a new armor. Just to get the durability up a little bit. What about this one? Yep. New helmet. Oh shit. Boom! Don't run on the fire, probably. I dare say. Oh, that looks like a fancy, uh... There's nothing here. Fancy pistol right there. Uh, it's got boosted crit chance from the looks of it. Nine times two? Oh, it's like a double shot pistol. What the? Oh, we might have that, even though we modded our... Not our, uh, submachine gun. Officer military sidearm using universal normal ammo. Better range, double tap, plus critical damage, and double shot. That seems pretty good. We might have to, have to use that one. Our first orange weapon. Hmm. Ow. Oh shit. <laughs> Bam. Darn tootin. I feel like so much 9mm ammo. Not gonna run out anytime soon. Dun, 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 dun. Blasted. What is that? That looks new. 9mm auto rifle. Hmm. 9 times 3. 2, 3, 7 ranges. I wonder what the third number means there. Hmm. Crit damage 75. It's got kind of the same crit damage anyway. I wonder if this is actually just better than the pistol we just got. 9 times 3 versus 9 times 2. Minimum, you have less accuracy at range 1. So the pistol is accurate at a longer range. This is a bit less accurate. Yeah, that makes sense. The so same max range. What I wonder what the second, the, what the middle one is then. So if the if not, if 2 is where you half the accuracy. Oh, that's a minimum range, I see. So if they're right next to us, that... Oh... Because I remember there was a perk about minimum range. Okay. So this has got a minimum range and a slightly shorter uh, accurate range. I see. I mean, the shotgun can cover the close range, potentially. Three is optimum. Yeah, minimum, optimum, max. Got it. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, I reckon it might be pretty good. Not as accurate as our, as the pistol, I think, overall. Entry to strong room. That might be where we want to go. <laughs> Let's go into the strong room. I'll get my shotgun ready. Remembering to reload. Oh ho ho ho! I like the looks of that. No. Damn it. 
I'm blasting. <laughs> I see a light moving around in there. We both have karma. Draw them out. No room for 762 ammo? Wait, am I just full? Oh, because it's like 100 stacks you max out. Okay, so I can drop with D though, eh? I'm probably not going to use a... Well, I guess I'll keep a revolver in ammo in case I do find some revolvers. 762, 44 hunter rifle. 24 impact semi-auto, 3811, so this is much higher range. Big crit damage. Magazine 1.5. So that uses the revolver ammo. Oh, it's like a spin. Well, this this is the weapon we'd want on our scout, eh? No room. Coast is clear. Blasted them. I like these loot rooms. That's kind of cool. Oh, ho, ho. 44 Deagle, AV2 9mm pistol. Rush 4 and efficient. I'm going to have a look what these do. Rush 4, bonus damage after a move. So, 4 bonus damage after you move, it looks like. Reload ammo, efficiency doubled. And then this one. I'm guessing we're going to be using the Deagle. Law enforcement semi automatic pistol. Often used by terrorists, mostly when they rush B. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Unflinching aim. Ignore pain accuracy penalties. Critical 50. Increases critical hit chance. 70% crit chance. Alright. Let's use that thing. I feel like we could almost uh, drop our melee weapon now in favor of something else here. Like the... Uh, so that's using the 44. I could keep maybe the this pistol here. Power mod pack. Ooh. Let's use that. Nifty set of batteries and circuits to allow adding power-based perks. So the different packs give you different styles of perks, I see. Bonus damage on full magazine. Bonus damage against wounded biological enemies. That uh, bonus damage on full magazine seems pretty good on a shotgun. Ah, oh, it's different. Bonus damage against enemies in range one or two. Bleed status immunity, extra inventory slot. Reveals exits, slightly increases dodge. I might go for the uh, point blank on the... Sh oh, we haven't really got a high-end shotgun though. Maybe I'll upgrade the Deagle. Because we'll probably keep that. Bonus on full. Yeah, let's go on that. Okay, and then what's over here? More ammo? Yo, sick. <laughs> This game's very cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> and I'll get out of here. <laughs> oh, this is just like a side room, I see. So we have to go back with the way we came. Seemed it was pretty worth it, the old storeroom. Pretty worth. What was the pink mod? I was AFK. Um. Unflinching aim. Ignores pain accuracy penalties. Fresh mag boats damage, because I just modded that, and critical chance. The unflinching aim one might not be that good for us, because I think we get that uh, a bit from adrenaline anyway. So that one might not be as useful. Whoop, hi. <laughs> Level five, yeah. So, wait, so we needed level six for that. So next level we can get that. Active skill, 20 evasion, 50% move cost for a short time at the cost of fury. Oh, it's a new active skill, I see. Okay. 
cover master. Hunker and aim at level 2 stays unless you move. Reduce splash damage. Oh, so you can get a hunger bonus and then keep firing from cover and maintain that. That could be really nice for the scout. But it seems pretty good in general. These, I guess the perks are... Some, some look like they might be shared between people. Can you take multiple of these perks then? You can only pick one master trait per character. No, you can't. Okay. What are the level two on this? You get 50% damage reduction while reloading. Tough as nails. Pain effectiveness plus two armor. Furious. Bonus fury capacity, adrenaline damage bonus. <laughs> I reckon I might get Reloader. Seems pretty handy for shotgun gameplay. It's fine for now. No ammo. Oops. Reload. Good thing I took Reloader. <laughs> Good thing, eh? There's nothing here. Uh, you can't see what the mods are on these. It looks like it's got boosted crit damage. It's fine. I've got a pretty good one already, I think. My current one has got rush, efficiency. Yeah, that's fine. It's kind of just back up that one anyway. It's like the shotgun and the deagle are going to keep us covered. Oh yeah, we're blasting with that thing. <laughs> Guess the total ammo and we have for the shotgun and deagle are both 60, so I could see running out of those. This should be it. Nice. That chest down there. Yep. 44 ammo. Got plenty of 9 mil. Several hundred. way first. Get a better view of things. Callisto anomaly? Hmm. This might be a side area. Here is getting under my skin. <laughs> this area looks spooky. It's a little bit more open. I'll pull my deagle out. Since it looks like we're not gonna get rushed from point blank. Is this gonna be like a boss fight or something? Spooky, it's so dark in here. I'm getting spooked out. Love music. I am mega spooked. Alright, looks like we're going in the middle. What is this? AV2 combat visor? Oh, new helmet. Oh, yeah. High tech combat visor. Properties depend on configuration. Tech monitor. Increase all repair received by 50. Bot scanner. Reveals turrets and bots on the mini-map. Okay. Oh, here we go. Arch Reaver. Blast him. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Holy crap. <laughs> Bed kit. That's better. There's gonna be more. Let's get behind cover. Nice, that was much better. There's gonna be one of oh god, one more there. Coast is clear. I was stand uh, so I should probably try to not stand on that fire. Woo! So I've got a shotgun upgrade though. Woo! Calibrated to retaliate. Oh, it's got a lot more damage as well. Ranges four and five. It's got less max range, but better optimal range, I guess. Let me have a look at that. It's like, uh, increases optimal range. Pain per percentage is added to damage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and what is this? Shotgun amp. 
Huh? Did that automatically add on here, or...? I don't know what that was that I just got. I don't see it in the list. Hmm, I don't know what that AVP shotgun amp thing was. Utility? It's... it's equipped? Oh! Advanced utility device for use with shotguns. Shotgun strayed capacitor adds 50% shotgun critical damage. Shotgun speed loader. Reload shotguns 50% faster if ma magazine's empty. Oh, wow, okay, so it's a piece of equipment. Doesn't look like it has charges or anything. It's just straight up shotgun upgrade. Sick. Unflinching aim, rush six. I think our current one's slightly better because we modded it. Reaver's tendon. Hmm. Minor relic, the tendon off a of reaver. Reaver's speed, 15% move speed, but pain lasts twice as long. That seems kind of synergistic with our shotgun upgrade. <laughs> so now we have a relic as well. Alright, cool. <laughs> okay, so these are like a nasty encounter with uh, some fancy loot. Very cool. Seems like you're really enjoying the game, Ziggy. What's your verdict? Yeah, no, this is super fun. I think they do a good job of capturing, like, the feeling of a shooter in a turn-based, um, you know, classic roguelike. Um, oh, healing. Yeah, give me the healing. <laughs> That's better. Extract med kit for two charges. Extract stim pack. Increase health. Oh, you can permanently increase your health if you're in pretty good state. We needed the healing, though. So there's, like, a med bay there. Yeah, no, it's got a lot of cool and interesting things. It's, it's pretty spicy locked. gameplay. That's locked. Mm. Lots of cool loot from the looks of things. And yeah, no, I'm uh, super keen. Uh oh. Blasted. No, oh, I'm bleeding again, of course. Damn it. <laughs> Level six. Army of Darkness. Shotguns convert to PS damage and get range bonuses. Our shotguns should be kicking some butt now. Slash weapons and impact launches get converted to PS damage. Swap to melee weapons instantly. So now we should get a melee weapon on our offhand, potentially. Molten 6 calibrated 2. Let's try that. Have a look at that one. What's that do comparatively? Applies burning status effect. Increases optimal range. Yeah, maybe I'll go that one. That seems a little bit more generally useful. Assault Rifle, 7.62 Assault Rifle. That might be better than the uh, pistol we have, at least. Until we can find a melee weapon. Nice. Do, 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 no room! Do, do, do. No room! Oh, this doesn't have as many... Uh, the shotgun... Yeah, the other shotgun had two ammo cap. That's right, we can't expect for reloading anyway. <laughs> we blast him. We blast him. Unlock the vault. Yes. Unlock the vault. That room back there, I think. Let's go back to the vault then. Um Well what don't I like? Um Hmm, the... it's a little hard to see sometimes. I do kind of wish I could zoom in or something. I don't know, that might be actually be possible. So slightly better visibility would be nice, I think. It's not major though. Only a minor. Minor feeling on that. Yeah, I didn't check the actual damage comparison between these shotguns, but I mean... This thing still seems to be doing pretty well. Now. <laughs> Look at us blasting demons. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, this is awesome. This might be uh, one of the roguelikes I've enjoyed the most in quite a while. It's been a while since I've played a roguelike, but a, like, like a classical roguelike. Repair armor, create mod pack, dismantle item. Destroy an item, return all the mods. I see. Auto calibrate weapon. Install auto calibration system on a weapon. Extract multi-tool. Charge a multi-tool. Do, 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 do. Looks like the create mod pack. Oh yeah, we've got options here. Power pack, accuracy, bulk pack. It's got power pack. No Hopefully it's on the ground there. I think it is. I need to drop some stuff.
power mod pack on the shotgun. Point blank. Ripper. Yeah, I'll give it point blank as well, then I. Eh? Sick. Got an enemy here. I think that's all of them. That's all of them. Down we go. What's this? Loot. Crack grenade. Yeah, sick. MP grenade. I've actually found many grenades since the tutorial. I notice. How do I get down? Elevator is inactive. Hmm. Calibrate is great if you have something you can. I saw. I think I saw the cal calibrate mod somewhere. Do I have it currently? Calibrated two increases up to more range. Oh yeah, yeah. That is good. Especially on a shotgun, I think. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I think we're over an hour, but I want to uh, see if I can uh, just push a little deeper. I'm wondering if there's like some boss fights and stuff. I just don't know where the elevator is. Is it up there? Yeah, I'm well over the hour. <laughs> Whoops, an hour 20. Someone's enjoying themselves. I guess the blue elevator is what we want. Auto calibrate does nothing until 50 kills with the weapon, then it adds range and damage. Oh, I see. It's a level up ability thing. Okay. Gotta hurry. Lockdown Security in progress. Security will soon. arrive soon. Ooh. No room. Stim pack. I got. I'm not using the grenades. Drop them. We blasting. Ow. Hmm. <laughs> look at it just look at us just obliterating. So many enemies. Is that a mini gun? Chain gun. Spin up. So I guess it takes some time to build up before it starts unleashing. Sick. <laughs> oh, whoop, we're getting shot at. I like we're just blasting through cover. Awesome. No room. I haven't really used my grenades yet. So my shotgun's doing doing plenty of work right now. This is how a shotgun build is meant to work? Oh yeah. We're going down. Oh, storage room. These are pretty good fights. I think we got a good build going here. Literally just blasting. <laughs> right, SMG, flintlock, a flintlock! <laughs> 50 impact damage. Only one uh, shot, I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> what does the flintlock perk do? Applies concussion status, reducing enemy damage by 50%. Specialist, 100% damage after class skill use. <laughs> Rare single shot revolver where it loses. It loses on critical capabilities and makes up with ridiculous stopping power. <laughs> Shoots like a giant ball. Anti-riot. Plus two damage for each extra enemy in sight. Calibrated two, increases optimal range. That actually seems pretty good. Right, SMG, shotgun. I'll get the flintlock for special occasions. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so many items in here. Crack grenade. I can pick that up. Add it to my pole. No One shot from stealth with a flintlock. Yeah, I reckon that'd be pretty effective. All right, we're still, I think, on a lockdown timer for this level. I wonder what happens when the lockdown kicks into gear. Oh, is this the exit? Okay. It's like I'm there ready. Be a working drop ship around here. Oh yeah. Somewhere. Thanks for the sub, Kraken. Appreciate that, mate. I can see all the drones on this level now. It seems. Cause of that helmet I got. But you stop and good to go. 
Level 7. I gotta go my army of darkness levels up. Oh no, we need level 10 for the next level of it. Alright, in that case, give me... Reload time halved? Yeah, let's get that for our shotgun. My shotgun ammo is all low. No cover for them, no cover for me, no cover for anyone. It's locked. Hmm. It's locked. Do -do 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 -do. See ya. Oh, ammo. Give me that ammo. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> I can tell he wants to swear. <laughs> I disabled his swears. Oh god. <laughs> Look at us go. Blast, blast. Oh, I'm blasting alright. Ah, oh, new helmet. BS basic armor. Yep, I'll take that. What's our new helmet do? Fail sec increases all repair received. Ah, oh, it's just like how much that thing repairs. This one actually helmet repairs though. But this visor did like some bot stuff, but meh. It's not that big a deal. Like punch my way through all the cover. <laughs> Unlock hangar? Uh, that's what we want. Access security. Initiate purge. Purge, purge, purge. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I did it. <laughs> Can only be a good thing for me. Healing? We're good. Extract stim pack. Increase health. There we go. Nice. Oh, you can charge it with a multi-tool. Oh, that's what that does. I see. <laughs> you can just smash your way through. Move out of my way, stupid destructibles. We're going into the hangar. Time to start blasting. Hmm. <laughs> Might just clear things out before I move in. Like some big old robots in here. Oh, we got a boss. Come here, you. Come closer. I'll get my flintlock ready. 48% chance to hit. Oh. Dang it. 61, let's go. <laughs> Did I blast it down? I think I knocked it down. Or was that just the regular enemy? Ah, oh, that wasn't the boss. Damage gate. It seems like it gets like a damage resistance because it's a boss. It's shooting rockets. 47% damage to hit 18, to hit 97. 58. Oh yeah, I, I stunned it. Oh god, it's rocketing me! Ah! Uh, <laughs> time for adrenaline, I think. Get that shotgun out. Oh my god. I'm coming in. I'm getting in close. 100% damage. Bam! <laughs> it turtled up. Ah! Uh, oh my god! Oh my god, I'm a little sore. Let's use those stim packs. Uh, not the heavy stuff military uses. Did a little, uh, protects you from pain and negative status effects for a bit, increases your re reflexes and heals like a small med kit. That's better. I might use another one. <laughs> That's See you in hell, bastard. See you in hell. <laughs> Just get up in its face. No room. No room. No room. Drop that. Cold mod pack. Shotgun. Oh, it did it. What did it do? Freezing. Applies freezing status effect. Love it. 
So, dropship to Europa. Chapter one down. <laughs> Sick. Oh, this guy's very cool. This guy's very cool. Is that like a complete run or is that like a chapter or something? Traveling to Europa. Oh, I think you uh, continue in the next chapter. So that's Let's like chapter see what one. What are really doing here? Ah, uh -huh. cool. Do we keep you keep your stuff and levels and everything? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, there was quite a few uh, like levels of the skills that you could get in much higher levels. We'll leave it there though, as I am well over the hour allotment for our indie tryouts. Very cool, great game. Jupiter Hell. Um, yeah, super fast, fun. Uh, a uh, rogue like that really realizes the like feeling of doom in a rogue like. <laughs> really like blasting away. <laughs> Barely even feels like a turn based game. Very cool. Um, I'm sure you could play a little slower if you wanted to be a bit more tactical. Especially with some of the other classes, maybe a non-shotgun build. Chapter 1 of 4 chapters? Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I saw that was like 15, 20 levels or something. Very sick. 